I don't really need to get up and film this tutorial. Don't look at me. I really need to get started on that tutorial. I really need to start filming this tutorial. Whoa. Hey guys, and welcome to a very exciting and rather late tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can easily create a really cool looking typewriter style text effect that you can then overlay onto your vlogs or your own film projects. Unfortunately, you can't really create these types of more advanced text effects in Premiere Pro alone, and so we are going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro as well as Adobe After Effects. But don't stress, this is still going to be an absolute beginner tutorial, so even if you've never used Adobe After Effects before, you'll be fine just following along. Just a quick note that over the last few years, Adobe has constantly changed how you can create animated titles in Adobe After Effects and then bring them over into Premiere Pro. While there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with all of these new features, in this video we're going to go the very traditional and basic route, simply so that you can follow along no matter which version of Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects you may have. But now, enough talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of Adobe Premiere Pro. Here I have a very short clip from the intro to this tutorial. And let's say we wanted to create an animated typewriter title that spells the day and the time, probably Sunday 10 or 11 a.m. down in the bottom left side of this video. If you are using a version of Premiere Pro prior to 2017.1, you may come down here and click on this new item icon and then create a new title. In 2017.1 that option is no longer available, but you can still press Ctrl T to create a new title. Let's call this one date and hit OK. And this will bring up the title editor and then you may choose the text tool and write down in the bottom left corner Sunday 10 a.m. Close the title editor and let's drag the date into our sequence and position it where we want it to. And so now we have the time blended in on the bottom left hand corner, but there's no animation. If you are using Adobe Premiere Pro prior to the April 2017 release, you will not be able to animate this text in here. However, if you are using version 2017.1, which is the April release, you can delete this title. And instead of creating this traditional Premiere title, you can use the type tool down here at the bottom. Let's click that and let's type the text directly into our preview window. This will create a new graphic element within your sequence and on the effect controls for that graphic element you have a text effect and in here you have a mask that you can apply and you could animate this to essentially kind of expand out so that the text gets revealed. However, this won't really look like a typewriter and Premiere Pro, while it's gotten better with the latest release, still doesn't really have the capabilities to create simple typewriter effects or other cool text effects and for that we are going to be using Adobe After Effects. Let's delete this graphic element and let's launch Adobe After Effects. This is the interface for Adobe After Effects and don't worry, it really isn't all that different from Premiere Pro. In order to create an element, we first need to create a container. Just like in Premiere you have a sequence, in Adobe After Effects those containers are called compositions. On the left hand side you will find the project panel and the easiest way to create a new composition is simply to right click and select new composition. This will create a new composition and I'm going to call this one Sunday because this is going to be our Sunday title. Then this is important, make sure that the width and height of this composition match your Premiere sequence. My sequence in Premiere is full HD at 1920 by 1080 so let's make sure that those two resolutions match. And it is usually a good idea to also make sure that the frame rates match. Then simply hit OK and you're going to get a black screen, which is your preview window of the contents of your composition. And this is not actually black. At the bottom of the preview window, you'll find this little checkerboard and this is a transparency icon. So if you tick this, you'll show the transparency in your composition. And right now, this entire composition is actually transparent. The great thing is that this allows us to write a text at the bottom left hand corner here and animate it really nicely. And then when we bring this element into Premiere Pro, we can overlay it on top of our video because the background is just transparent. Let me zoom in a little bit by pressing Alt and forward slash and let's create this text. In order to create the text, simply come up into your toolbar and in the toolbar you will find the type tool. Simply select it 
click into your composition and write some text. If you can't see your text, chances are that your font is simply black and you just can't see it. You can change the font as well as the color in the character tab on the right hand side. If you can't see this tab, make sure that you have it enabled under window and character so you can show and hide it in here. And in this character tab, you can change the font, the size and everything else that you want to. You may have to make sure that you select everything in your text so that obviously those changes are being applied properly. Then simply click into your layer window and you will have now created some text and the layer window shows you all of the layers that you've got stacked on top of each other and After Effects is great for compositing visual elements on top of each other, whereas Premiere Pro is great for sequencing elements one after another. So now that we've got our text created, let's reselect the selection tool or you can just press V and then you can position the text. Let's place it at the bottom left here. It is pretty big with the full text selected. Maybe I'll just make it just a little bit smaller again and position it nicely in the corner and at the bottom you'll find a timeline and if you scrub through now nothing animates because we have not yet added any animation so make sure you go back to the very beginning and let's add this typewriter effect to the text in order to do that usually next to the character tab so we've got libraries and a bit further to the left you have this effects and preset panel and again if you can't actually see this just come up into window and enable it through effects and presets and in here you have a huge amount of different effects that you can apply to your videos and your text and create some really cool stuff as i said after effects in terms of animating and compositing and creating really complex effects is much more powerful than Premiere Pro but we don't need to worry about any of those for now. The simplest way to do is simply come up into the search here and write typewriter and here is an animation preset that we can use under text animate in and typewriter in order to apply an effect or a preset from the effects and presets panel onto an element in your composition you can either click and drag it onto the layer in your layer window and let go or with the layer select, you can also just double click the effect and it'll do the exact same thing. Now, our text has vanished, which, well, we kind of want to do. We want to start out with no text. But now if I scrub through my composition, I can see my text being spelled out like a typewriter. This obviously is controlled via keyframes, which work the same way as they do in Premiere Pro. With your layer selected, press U so you can see all of the current keyframes. And here they are from zero to two and a half seconds. This text is being spelled out. In order to make this a bit quicker, we can take the last keyframe and just drag it forward a little bit. So let's maybe have it appear within a second and a half. So it's being spelled out just a little bit quicker. And at the end, I want to make this text vanish again, like someone's typing backspace and deleting this text. In order to do that, obviously I already have two keyframes. I can come to maybe four seconds and I'm going to select this last keyframe here go ctrl c to copy it and ctrl v to paste it in and then let's go to five seconds or to the end of your composition select the first keyframe ctrl c and paste it in towards the very end and so now at the end of our composition our text gets deleted now if your composition is not five seconds long when we created this new composition here in the project panel, so if I go right click, new composition, you can choose the duration of your composition here so you can set it to however long you need it for your text. So that's where you set the duration. But you can also within the composition, so within our Sunday composition, you can actually right click and come up into the composition settings and then just change the duration here to anything that you want. Let's hit OK and get out of that again. Let's rewind to the very beginning click somewhere so we don't have this text element selected and simply press space to play back your animation. Cool, that looks really nice. And the great thing is, again, let's enable this little checkerboard icon that the text is actually being spelled on a transparent background so we can render this out and bring it into Premiere Pro without a problem. Let's re-enable the background and let's render out this element. Before we do that, however, be aware that you do actually have quite a number of different options of getting your composition from Adobe After Effects into Premiere Pro. In After Effects CC 2014, Adobe introduced live text templates. And what that allowed you to do is to simply right click, open up your composition settings and under advanced, you used to have an option that said template like to unlock all the text layers so they became editable in Premiere Pro and then you could simply import the After Effects project into Premiere and then within Premiere just drag it onto your timeline and you can edit all of the text live there but that option got removed when CC 2017 got released. In CC 2017 prior to the latest April release you could export a composition as an AECP file. In order to do that you had to select your composition, come up to file, 
export. And down here, you had an option to export as a text template. And then you could bring that text template into Premiere Pro and again change the text live. In the very latest version, which is the one I have right now, which is CC 2017.1, which is the April release, I actually have something under Window. I have the Essential Graphics panel and I can actually create a motion graphics templates from my composition and again bring that into Premiere Pro. Obviously that all got hella confusing and I can make separate tutorials on those options if you really want to. For now I'm simply going to close this panel again and let's take the approach that will work no matter which version of After Effects and Premiere Pro you have. Let us simply render out this animated title as a video with transparency and then we can simply bring that video into Premiere Pro and place it anywhere we want. In order to do that, in your project panel, make sure you have your composition selected and then come up into composition and select add to render queue. This will open up the render queue and add this composition ready to be rendered out and you now have to set up your options. Your render settings, you probably want to set this onto best settings so you don't lose any quality when you export this. And in your output module, let's click on this. This is where you need to set everything up so that you end up with a transparent background on your video. Personally, I like to set my format to QuickTime and then for my format option, under the video codec, you need to choose a codec that supports an alpha channel. So you have quite a few options. The one I personally like to use is PNG, which turns out a little bit bigger, but it is really good quality. So I like to set this to PNG and set this to 100%. Hit OK. And then in the output module settings, make sure that your channels, which are usually set to red, green and blue, are set to red, green, blue and alpha. So you're going to export your entire video plus the alpha channel. You can resize it if you want to, you can crop it. Personally, I will always leave the audio output off because for a title, I don't actually need any audio output. Hit OK. And then in the output to option, let's select a place where we want to export this movie to. Here, I have a whole bunch of them already. Let's just export this one and call it tutorial. Let's hit save. And then simply hit render to render this movie out to your hard drive. Now that we've exported our video, let's return to Premiere Pro and let's import this new title that we have exported. So let me just navigate to where I've exported this file to. So there it is, tutorial MOV. Let's simply bring this into our project and let's drag and drop it onto our sequence. And there you go. We now have a really cool typewriter text effect that we can use within our Premiere project. If we wanted to make changes to this title or maybe we wanted to have some for Monday 10 a.m., we can simply return to Adobe After Effects, return to our composition. You can simply double click on it or just open up the tab if you still have it. Scrub to a position where you can see all of the text and then simply select the type tool. You can just simply click Ctrl A to select everything and maybe we'll change this to Monday 9 a.m. Click into your layer window and now it will spell Monday 9 a.m. It will have the same animation and the same timing applied. And then again, you can simply come into composition, add to render queue, and then make sure you set everything up the same way we did before and then just render it out. Either as a separate title or you can overwrite the one you already had. Obviously, this fairly manual way of exporting it as a transparent movie and bring it into Premiere Pro means that you will have to re-export every time you want to make a change and there are some better options for it. But I hope that this simple workflow at least makes you comfortable enough using Adobe After Effects and creating some cool titles and animations and bring it back into your Premiere project as I said, After Effects is much more powerful at creating some really cool animations and then you can simply render it all out, bring it back into Premiere and use it within your own projects. And that's all there is to it. I hope that wasn't too scary and I hope it showed you some of the power that you can gain by combining Premiere Pro with Adobe After Effects. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please show your support by liking, favoriting and sharing it with the world. Don't forget to subscribe if you do want to see some more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials just like this one. And as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.